Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to class. So today we're going to be starting our class in Balasana and Child's Pose. So make sure your big toes are touching. You can spread your knees a little bit further apart um, from your chest if that's more comfortable and just extend your arms forward, making sure that your elbows don't touch the ground. So your forehead is on the ground and you're just stretching your arms forward and rolling your shoulder blades outward. So away from one another. Just feeling that nice stretch in the upper back between the shoulder blades. Establishing a nice rhythm of breath through the nose. And slowly walk your arms over to the right side and keep on stretching. So this time I want to make sure that your hands are parallel, maybe stretching a little further your left arm. Make sure your left sit bone still touches your left heel, forehead on the ground, and breathing gently through the nose, feeling the stretch on the left side of the body here. That's it. Gently warming up the body. Bringing the attention inward. Just observing how you're feeling today. Now walk your arms completely over to the left side, this time stretching the right side of the body. Again, you can stretch the right arm a little bit further if that feels nice for you, making sure the right sit bone this time is still touching the right heel, forehead on the ground. And so we're just, without any judgment, just checking out how we're feeling today. Okay, gently going back to center and come up on all fours into tabletop pose. Make sure your wrists are directly below your shoulders and we're just going to go a little bit into cat and cow. Excellent. So on an exhale, I want you to bring the pubic bone towards your navel, tuck your chin in, look at your navel, just rounding your back. And then inhale, stretching the shoulders back, lifting the tailbone, looking up. Excellent. And repeat. Exhale, rounding the back. And on an inhale, rolling the shoulders back, arching the back, lifting the tailbone, look up towards the sky. And repeat. Really gentle and nice way to warm up the body. Feels super good. Inhale, once again, stretch up, arch the back. And exhale, tucking the chin in, rolling the spine upward. And inhale, come back to neutral. Okay, so now lift your right leg up and lift your left arm up parallel to the floor. Stretching the arm forward, stretching the, left, the leg backward. Make sure your navel is tucked toward it, your spine and that your hips are parallel to the ground. You're looking on the floor at your finger level. Excellent. Just stretching in opposite directions. Breathing through the nose. And then gently, I want to see if you can grab your right top of the foot with your left hand. And gently start pulling the leg upward. You can look straight forward or up towards the ceiling. We're just going gently here. So nothing exaggerated in the beginning of the practice. We're just warming up. So don't jam yourself into the posture. And slowly let go. Bring hands and foot on the ground. Now lift your left leg up and your right arm up. Excellent. Stretching the heel back. Stretching the right fingertips forward. Looking straight on the ground below you. Navel towards the spine, hips parallel to the floor. Breathing through the nose gently. Excellent. And slowly, again, try to grab the top of your foot with your right hand. And you're just pulling up the foot towards the ceiling gently, looking forward or looking towards the ceiling if that is possible. Excellent. And arm in left knee on to the ground. 
So here I want you to just tuck your toes in and start by lifting the knees, just the knees off the ground. So we're just making like this box shape. Make sure your knees are right below your hips, about, you know, 10 centimeters off the ground, making a straight line and just breathing here. Tuck your navel towards your spine. Try to keep your back straight. Excellent. And then you can go gently into downward facing dog for the first time. Perfect. Feet parallel. We can bend knees one at a time if that feels good. Just warming up the body. Make sure your fingers are spread equally and equally, you know, pressing into the ground. And looking towards your navel. Opening your chest towards your mat. Tailbone towards the sky. Legs completely extend if that's possible. And gently I want you to walk all the way up until your feet are between your hands at the top of your mat. Excellent. And from here, just let your upper body go towards the floor and grab your elbows and relax here. So if this feels really, you know, too intense for your lower back, make sure to bend your knees here. You can always just lay your belly onto your thighs. You can do a shake here if that feels good. Say yes or no with your head. Make sure everything is nice and relaxed. Also bring the weight maybe a little bit more towards your toes. And on an inhale, you can roll the spine up and come all the way up to standing, lifting the head last, roll your shoulders back. Super, we're gonna start with some basic sun salutations like we did last week, so feet together. Make sure your hips are, you know, pivot your hips forward, roll the shoulders back, hands on each side of the body, chin towards your chest. And inhale, lift the arms up, palms together, looking towards your thumb. That's it, exhale, flat back, Go all the way down, bending the knees if you have to. Hands on each side of the feet and forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands on the ground and go back into plank. Super. Inhale here. And on the exhale, bending the elbows, putting the chest first on the ground and tops of the feet on the ground. Inhale, cobra. That's it. Look up, keeping the pubic bone on the floor. Exhale, tuck the toes in and go into downward facing dog. Press all the fingers equally onto the ground, arms straight. Roll your shoulder blades away from one another. Chest open, heart open, tailbone towards the sky, and legs extended if you can, looking towards your navel. Now on the inhale, I want you to try to step forward. If you can't, just walk your feet forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands on the ground, forehead to the knee. Now inhale, stretch all the way up. Palms together to the sky. Exhale, bring the arms down to the sides of the body. Again, inhale, stretch the arms up. Look up, palms together. Exhale, go down with a flat back, hands on the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back again. Exhale, hands to the ground and jump back to plank. Inhale here, go down. You can stop halfway if you like. Inhale, tops of the feet on the ground, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll the toes, downward facing dog. Very good. Make sure your feet are parallel, hip width, tailbone facing the sky, navel towards the spine, and look towards your navel. All the fingers and hands pressing equally on the ground. Now inhale, bend your knees and jump to the front between your hands, flat back. Exhale, hands to the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Arms to the sky, hands together. Exhale, bring the hands down on each side of your body. Again, inhale, stretch the arms up. Palms together, look toward the sky. Exhale, go down, flat back, hands on the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands on the ground beside your feet and jump back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, go down. You can go down halfway if that's possible. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll the toes, downward facing dog.
back foot. Now inhale, stretch the right leg up, flex the right foot. So you're pushing through the heel, making a straight line from your heel all the way to your fingers. Inhale again, and on the exhale, bring the right foot forward between your hands. Left knee on the ground, top of the left foot on the ground. Inhale, roll the shoulders up, back, and towards the ground. You're stretching your fingers towards the ground. Make sure the hips are forward, belly button towards your spine. Inhale, lift the arms up. Look up if you can towards your hands. Exhale, try to make a slight back bend. Inhale, go back up. Exhale, bring the arms forward between the foot, forehead to the knee. Take a nice inhale here. And on the exhale, try to extend the right leg. You don't need to keep the contact between the forehead and the knee. Just relax however you can, feeling the stretch in the back part of your right leg. Keep the hips parallel to the floor. Doing it nice and gently, face relaxed, breath relaxed. Inhale, bring the right foot back on the ground. Now tuck the left toes in and go back into downward facing dog. On the inhale, this time I want you to stretch your left leg up to the sky. Left leg be extended, flexing the toes of the left foot. Inhale again, and on the exhale, bring the left foot to the front of your mat between your hands. Right knee on the ground, top of the right foot on the ground. Inhale, roll the shoulders up, back and towards the ground. Hips parallel, pelvis <clears throat> forward. Inhale, stretch the arms up, look up. On the exhale, you can do a slight back bend if that feels good. Inhale, go back up. On the exhale, hands front, forehead to the knee. Inhale here. All right, good. And gently on the exhale, you can extend the left leg now. You can lose the contact with the forehead and the knee if that feels better. What we wanna feel here is the nice stretch behind the left leg this time around. Looking at your toes, taking it nice and easy, hips parallel to the ground. Super on the inhale, bring the left foot on the ground, tuck the right toes, and go back into downward facing dog again. Look towards your navel. Inhale, bend the knees, jump forward, flat back. Exhale, hands to the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Palms together, look towards your hands. Exhale, bring the arms down to each side of your body. Inhale, stretch the arms up, palms together, look at the sky. Exhale, flat back, go all the way down, hands on the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands beside the feet, jump back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, go halfway or all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, look up, shoulders to the back. Exhale, roll on the toes and go into downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. And on the exhale, going to push up position, bring your knee to your forehead. Repeat, inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, going to push up position, bring your knee to your forehead. Inhale, right leg up, stretch it up. Exhale, push up position, knee to the forehead. Again, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, forehead to the knee. One last time, inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, knee to the forehead, and then try to rest your right foot between your hands at the top of your mat. Left knee on the ground, top of the left foot on the ground. Inhale, stretch the arms up, bring the body up, look up. Exhale, back bend, chest up, hips forward. Inhale, go back up, and on the exhale, hands to the front. Now bend your left knee, and with your right hand, grab the top of your foot, and just create a gentle twist. You're trying to bring your left heel towards your buttock. Make sure your right knee is directly on top of your ankle. And now you can just bring the left foot on the ground and stretch the right leg to feel the stretch in the right hamstring again. Maybe notice how you've been able to go a little bit further this time around than in the previous round we did a few minutes ago.
noticing how the body is opening up. Inhale, right foot on the ground, tuck the left toes in. Plank, inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the toes, Downward Facing Dog. Now inhale, stretch the left leg up. Exhale, push up position, knee to the forehead. Repeat, left leg up. Exhale, push up position, knee to the forehead. Again, stretch the left leg up on the inhale. Exhale, forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. Exhale, knee to the forehead. One last time, stretch the left leg up. Knee to the forehead at the front and then rest your left foot between your hands. Right knee on the ground, top of the right foot on the ground. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Look up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, come back up. On the exhale, bring your hands between your feet at the front. Bend your right knee and with your left hand, grab the top of your right foot. And now twist to the left. And just looking towards the sky or front if that's easier for you. Listening to your body always. Gently bring the right foot on the ground and stretch. Try to extend the left leg. Now stretching your left hamstring. Very nice. Breathing through the nose, always. Inhale, left foot on the ground, tuck the right toes in, go back into plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, tops of the feet on the ground, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, turn the toes and downward facing dog. So from this position, I want you to Inhale and just bring the elbows onto the mat. Maybe the top of the crown of your head will touch the mat. And on the exhale, push your elbows up and go back into downward facing dog. Again, inhale, try to rest your elbows on the mat, top of the head maybe touching the mat. And on the exhale, bring the elbows up, go back into downward facing dog. One last time. Inhale, elbows down, top of the head touching the mat. And on the exhale, straightening the arms and going back into downward facing dog. Now inhale, bend the knees, jump forward between the hands, do a flat back. Exhale, bring the hands down and bring the forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch all the way up, arms up, palms together, look at the sky. Exhale, bring the arms to the sides of the body. Super. Inhale, stretch the arms up again. Palms together, look at the sky. Exhale, flat back all the way down, hands to the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump back into plank. From here, we're going to go into side plank. So pivot the heels to the left. Bring your weight into your right hand and lift the left arm up. You can look up or look straight ahead. And if it's possible, you can try to lift your left leg towards the sky. Very nice. And breathe. Step the left foot on the ground, back into plank, and let's do the opposite side. So now pivot the heels to the left, weight into the left hand, and lift the right arm up. And again, if you can, lift your right leg. You can also do that. And stay here for a couple seconds, breathing through the nose. Excellent. And go back into plank. From here, inhale, exhale, yogi push-up. Exhale, go back into push-up position. Exhale, down into Chaturanga. Exhale, push-up. Inhale, Chaturanga. Exhale, push-up. Two more. Inhale, Chaturanga. Exhale, back into push-up. And the last one. Inhale, Chaturanga. Exhale, back into push-up. And then you can take a break in Downward Facing Dog. Super. Now bring your feet together. Just to feel how that feels. You mean Tadasana, it's mountain pose. So it's like downward facing dog, but with your feet together. Just a little variation. Now inhale, bend the knees, jump forward between your hands, flat back. Exhale, hands on the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Palms together, look at the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down on the sides. And just take a little breath here. Stop for a moment. Excellent. <laughs> Doing great, you guys. You can move back to the center of your mat, and we're just going to do a little bit of balancing work. 
Go feet together, bring the weight on the left foot, keep the left leg completely extended, interlace your 10 fingers, lift your right leg, and try to grab below your foot with your 10 fingers interlaced. Excellent. From here, try to straighten your back. Left leg is like a post. And when you're ready, you can start trying to extend that right leg, making a perfect L. So you want to keep your left leg solid, thigh contracted. And you can bring your upper body downward. If that's accessible to you, great. Now just bring your right foot on the ground. We're going to do the other side. If you want to do a little back bend between, if that feels good, you can just put your hands on your lower back and stretch back. And now I want you to put the weight into your right foot. Keep the right leg extended. Lift the left foot, and with your 10 fingers interlaced, grab below your foot. Excellent. Now the right leg is straight, completely straight. Inhale, and on the exhale, you can start extending the left leg. So your priority is keeping the right leg completely extended, more so than the leg that's in the air. And if it's accessible, you can bend down your upper body. Okay, <laughs> and if you're like me and you just lost balance, that's fine. Put a smile on your face, it's all good. Both feet on the ground, you can do a little back bend again if that feels good. Excellent. Now move back to the back of your mat. Um, we are going to continue the balancing exercise. <laughs> Inhale, lift the arms up, palms together. You can interlace all 10 fingers. Step your right foot forward, lift the left leg and point the toes. Now inhale, and as you exhale, start bending down. Bend down the body, but lift the leg. Okay, left leg up, body down. You want to make a perfect L position. Very good. Tuck your tummy in. Try to keep your ears with your biceps. Stretch front, stretch back, excellent. Now lift both legs to the back. Now step your left foot forward, lift your right foot, point the toes, inhale, and on the exhale again, go down. Bend the body down, lift the right leg, stretch to the front, stretch to the back, stretch, 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 and on the inhale, step back. And bring the arms on each side of your body. Good. So now we're going to go uh, into standing bow. So feet together. Bring the weight into your left foot. Bring your right arm out to the side with the palm facing to the sky. And then grab the inside of your right ankle. Now bring your left arm up towards the sky. The palm is facing the front. Inhale, stretch up. And on the exhale, I just want you to start pulling. So you're pushing them, in fact, with your foot into your hand. You're not so much bending your upper body forward. You're more pushing with your foot to lift it. Okay? Make sure your ground leg stays extended. Excellent. And now bring the right foot back on the ground. We're going to do the opposite side. So now bring the weight into your right foot. Lift your right, your left foot off of the ground and grab the inside of your left foot. Lift the right arm up, inhale, and as you exhale, again, you're pushing with your left foot into your hand, pushing the foot upward without so much trying to bend the upper body forward. And wherever you are, just stay there for a few seconds. Excellent. And bring the left foot down, the right arm down. <laughs> Super. So you can turn to the side of your mat and spread your feet out about four feet distance. Turn your toes in because you want to protect your knees. Bring your arms parallel to the floor. Contract your thighs. Inhale. And on the exhale, go down with a straight back. If you can't keep your back straight, you can always bend the knees and 
bring your hands on the ground below your shoulders. And again, if it's too intense for you keeping the legs straight, bend the knees, it's not a problem. And for today, I just want you guys to relax in this position. Let your head relax, let your shoulders relax. Make sure you're pressing the outer part of your feet on the ground here. And, and breathe through the nose. Bring a little bit more weight onto your toes to make sure that your hips are directly on top of your heels. And from here, we're gonna do a spine twist. So bring your left hand between your feet. Inhale, lift your right arm up and look up. If that's accessible to you, you can always bring your hand all the way around to try to grab your inner left thigh, if that feels good. Make sure you're rolling your right shoulder out, shoulder outward. <laughs> Excellent, inhale, bring the right arm on the ground where your left hand was. Inhale, lift the left arm up this time, that's it. And if you grab your inner thigh on the other side, always do the same thing on both sides to balance the body. Breathe through the nose. Being gentle with yourself. Inhale, and bring both arms on the ground. Let your head hang. Bring your arms parallel to the ground. Contract your abs, important. And inhale, go back up with a straight back, all the way up. From here, put your hands on your hips and just do a quarter turn to your right. Make sure your feet are three feet apart. Your back foot in a 45 degree angle. Keep your right hand on your hip. Inhale. Bring the left arm up. We're going to do it into a twist here. Inhale, and on the exhale, bend down with a straight back and put your left hand on the outside of your right foot and try to lift your right arm up. Nice little spine twist here, trying to keep your hips parallel so the weight is distributed equally between your front foot and your back foot. Now bring your right hand back on your hip and with a straight back, go all the way up. Now bring both of your arms behind your body, either grab your elbows or put your hands in prayer position and bring your hands upward as much as you can. Inhale with a straight back, exhale, go all the way down. So the idea is you're kind of folding like a sandwich here, so you want to bring your belly on your thigh first of all. Okay, so if that's not accessible to you, make sure your back is straight at all times, both legs extended. Inhale, come back up with a straight back. Can take your hands out, shake a little bit, and just pivot 180 degrees. We're gonna do the other side. So remember your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Keep your um, left hand on your hip, inhale, right arm up, and on the exhale, go down with a straight back, right hand on the outside of the left foot, and lift your left arm up. Creating a nice twist here. It's normal if you're losing your balance, don't worry. Try to keep both legs extended. If you have a block handy, you can always use the block for these types of postures. Now inhale, come back all the way up. Again, bring the hands back, either grabbing your elbows or putting your hands into prayer position. Inhale, stretch up. And on the exhale with a flat back, you're going down, all the way down. Respect your body. There's always one side of the body that's more flexible than the other. So respect that. And eventually, over time, your body will become more balanced. Inhale, come back up with a straight back. Shake out the hands. Come to the front of your mat. <laughs> Bring the hands on the hips. Keep the left foot on the ground. Inhale, lift the right leg up. And try to extend your legs. So you're making a perfect L shape with your legs here. And just staying here, back straight, breathing. Leg extended for three, two, one. Excellent. And bring the right foot on the ground. Other leg. Ground the right foot. Inhale, lift the left knee up, and then try to extend your leg. Make a nice L shape. Super. Breathe here. Extend. Contract the thigh. Three, two, one. That's it. And then bring the left foot on the ground. <laughs> From here, we're going to go into a yogi squat. So spread your feet as much as you need to. Ideally, you want to keep your feet parallel, but if you're like me and that's not accessible, you can spread out your feet. And gently try to sit down. Bring your hands in namaskar between your knees or your thighs. And breathe here. 
very good exercise to work the flexibility of the hips. Now from here, bring your hands on the ground. We're going to go into crow. So put your, both of your hands on the ground. Bend your knees and try to bring your knees as much as possible into your armpits. Mm -hmm. And from here, you just want to see if you can keep your balance onto your hands. And then you want to lift your feet up. Toes together. Try to bring your heels as close as possible to your bum and then try to extend your arms. Excellent. And from here, just go back into nice yogi squat <laughs> for a few seconds. And then sit down. <laughs> Super. So from here, just calculate the four, the distance of your forearm to the back. Put your hands on the mat, fingertips facing your feet, and we're going to go into reverse tabletop. So lift your buttocks, look up, chest up. Nice stretch in the shoulders here. Breathe through the nose. And on the end, exhale, sit down again. Okay, so in a seating position, cross your leg, move up onto your knees. Make sure your knees are touching. And now spread your feet apart and gently, gently try to sit between your feet. So respect any pain. It's all right to feel stretching, but not any pain, not any sort of tingling sensation or anything like that. Make sure also that your feet aren't in a duck shape, right? Make sure your feet are pointing straight back. You can spread your knees as much as you like to, as much as you need. And breathe through the nose. Super. From here, you can stand up on your knees. And this time, spread them uh, as wide as your hips, your feet as well, because we're going to do a back bend. So put your hands on your lower back, thumbs facing outward, pubic bone forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, keep them back a little bit. Either keep your hands on your hips, or if you can, you can grab your heels, thumbs facing outward, fingers facing inward. And so for today, I'd like you to keep on looking at your chest, because the idea in this posture is to push your chest upward. Now gently bring your hands back onto your lower back. Stand up. And from here, you can go into child's pose. Relax the arms, either relax the arms forward or backwards, towards the back, it's up to you. Forehead on the ground, breathing, just receiving any sensation that you might have following that posture that we just did. If you need to exhale through the mouth here, you can do so. And from here, you can get back onto all fours. We're going to go into baby dolphin. So make sure that your hips are right above your knees, hip width, and you can slowly start relaxing your chest downward towards the ground. Excellent. So here you want to all, always roll your shoulder blades outward. And if your chest isn't quite touching the ground, that's fine. So the important thing here is not to feel any pinching in your shoulders. And let your heart open and just let gravity here do its work. And in this posture, as in any posture, your guide is your breath. The first and foremost important thing in yoga is the breath. Excellent. From here, move on to your elbows, bring the pelvis onto the ground, tops of the feet on the ground. And you are in Sphinx. Make sure your elbows are directly below your shoulders and you're sort of pulling yourself forward, bringing the shoulders back, pulling the chest upward, keeping the pelvic bone on the ground. Now from here, inhale, press the hands into the ground and try lifting your elbows off of the mat, keeping your pelvis in contact with the floor. And now lift your right arm and just weave it underneath your left shoulder. 
palm facing the sky. Make sure your wrist is in line with your right shoulder. And then just bring your weight back onto the ground. So try putting your left shoulder basically back onto the ground. You're lying on your belly on top of your arm. Stretching the outer part of your right shoulder here. And gently press your left hand onto the mat. Bring your right hand forward and do the opposite. So weave your left arm now below your right shoulder. Keeping the wrist and, uh, and shoulder parallel. And then bringing your right shoulder back onto the mat. Trying to lay down completely on your stomach. This time you're stretching the left back shoulder. Okay, so gently take out your left arm, stretch your right arm out to the side, bringing the wrist parallel to the shoulder, press your left hand onto the ground and open the chest. So now we're stretching the um, pectoral muscle and with your left arm you can bring it out and behind. Maybe one day you can touch your fingers back there. Breathe. Now press your left hand back onto the ground, go onto your stomach, stretch your left arm out, wrist parallel to the shoulder, and now open your body towards the right. And you can bring your left arm up and back if you did that on the other side. And breathing through the nose, stretching the muscle, the shoulder, the front part of the shoulder this time around. Mm -hmm. Bring your right hand back on the ground and stay on your belly for Sarvangasana. Bring both of your arms underneath your body, palms facing down. Try to bring your elbows as close to one another as possible, pinky fingers touching, both feet together, thighs contracted. Now bring your forehead on the ground Inhale, and on the exhale, press your hands into the ground and lift your both feet. Yes, maybe lifting your hips here. And stay for three, two, one. Bring your feet back on the ground, release the hands, turn the head to the right. Make sure your big toes are touching, release the heels. Nice and relaxing for the lower back. Also passively stretching the neck here. And turn the head to the left to balance things out a little bit. Feeling the body relax more and more as we're moving through the practice. Very good. Now bring the hands on the ground. You can lift yourself up in a small push-up, maybe on your knees. And so we're going to be stretching the inner parts of the thighs. What I recommend here is to move uh, so that your knees are on your mat. So just turn to your right. And from here, make sure your knees are parallel, that your hips are directly above your knees. Sort of like a frog posture here that we're doing. And breathing here. Using the breath to just relax the hips downward towards the floor, imagining you have a little weight there. Bring your pubic bone coldly and your pelvis towards the floor, gently, very gently. How is the quality of the breath? It's especially important if this posture is challenging for you. Where can you relax? Okay, now gently walk your hands back up. And you can lie down on your back. Okay, last few postures here. <coughs> Bring both of your knees towards your chest. Try to grab your elbows if you can. And then give yourself a nice hug. Make sure your big toes are touching. Pulling your shoulders into the ground. Bring your chin towards your chest, looking down towards your navel. Very good. 
and from here we're going to go into happy baby so grab the outsides of your feet and now you're gently pulling your knees towards the ground on either side of your chest make sure your ankles are directly above your knees you're also opening the shoulders you should feel very nice and good flexors try to bring your tailbone your coccyx to the ground try to flatten all of your spine from the neck all the way down to your tailbone okay and from here we're going to go into a spine twist so cross your right leg above your left leg if you can bring your foot behind your right calf that's fine let the legs fall to the left and turn your head to the right make sure your arms are parallel and that both shoulders are touching the ground and breathe Releasing any tensions that might be left. Now bring the knees back to center. I'll switch the crossing. Cross the left leg over the right. Let the knees fall to the right. And then just bring your... Twist your head to the left. And breathe. Nice. And from here, bring the knees back to center. You can uncross the legs. Bring both of the knees to the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Try to bring your forehead towards your knees. One last time. Very good. And then relax. Shavasana. And spread the feet out two feet apart. Make sure your palms of your hands are facing upward. Make sure both of your shoulder blades are in contact with the ground. That your chin is a little bit towards your chest so that you have a nice long neck. Close your eyes. And let go. If you feel the need, you can take a nice deep long inhale through the nose and then let it go through the mouth <sighs> feel your body nice and heavy sinking into the ground Let me take the time to notice here how you feel in comparison to when you started the class. Just to take note of the difference. Notice how peaceful it is right now. Good. Let your heart fill itself with gratitude and be proud of yourself. Be very proud of doing your best. And that's all anybody can ask from anyone, really. Do your best and be loving with yourself. Tend to forget that. And just gently move your toes and fingers. If you want to stretch out your body, you can do that. And gently roll over onto your right side. Just take a little pause there. And gently, gently come back into a sitting position.
You can bring your hands to your chest. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. You did amazing. See you next week. Shanti, shanti, shanti. <laughs>